Hi, everyone. This is Victoria again. How are you guys doing? Hello, pilgrims. Hello, brothers and sisters in the Lord. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the woman at the well. I hope everything is going well with you. Um, you know, God says in all things, we should give thanks. So even if your world, you feel that your world is going, uh, you know, is falling apart, you still have a reason to give thanks because you have life. Because we have life, there is hope for a better tomorrow. Um, one thing I have been personally been working on is surrendering. You know, today I, I received uh, not so much a good news from my family. And, you know, normally I'll be down and uh, I'm sorrowful, but I thank God for his mercy. I thank for God for his joy in my life. And I've just, you know, surrendered and left everything in the hands of the Lord. And I know that I am in good hands. As long as we surrender and we leave everything in the, you know, at the feet of Jesus, he will take care of us. So whatever you're going through, do not worry. God have your back. God knows why. God will be with you and he will answer your prayer. So let us go into today's study. We will continue our study on the Sabbath. You know, last week we were talking about, you know, a question was asked, uh, why I go to church on Saturday. So this is a part two of that. And uh, so I the thing is that people may normally say that they keep Sunday because, you know, most Christians go to church on Sunday. And the reason why they go to church on Sunday is because they say because Jesus rose on uh, from the dead on Sunday. That's why um, they go to church on Sunday. You know, that's why the Sabbath was changed from Saturday to Sunday. That's what people say. That's what most Christians say, because Jesus rose on a Sunday. So that's why they go to church on Sunday. But does the Bible really tell us that? You know, does the Bible really tell us, you know, God created that seventh day specifically. And if we can read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, there's nowhere in the Bible that says, you know, the Sabbath was changed from sun as from Saturday to Sunday. So what is going on here? Let us, uh, you know, let us, I think that the Bible will explicitly state it if the Sabbath was changed after Jesus resurrected, right? But let us read Hebrews chapter four, verses one to nine. Hebrews four. One to nine. Let us therefore fear lest a promise being left us of entry into his rest. You know, when we talk about rest, we are talking about the seventh day Sabbath. Any of, uh, any of you should seem to come short of, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, nor being mixed with faith in them that had it. For we, for we which have believed do enter into rest as he did. You're talking about Jesus here. As I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although their works were finished from the foundation of the world, for he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. Paul is making it clear that when they are talking about the rest, the, uh, we are talking about the seventh day, okay? And God did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, seeing therefore it remain, it remained that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached enter not in because of unbelief. It's telling us that many people, are not accepting this seven day Sabbath thing because of unbelief. Again, he limited a certain day, saying in saying in David, today, after so long a time, as it is said, today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart. God is telling us not to harden our hearts when this truth of this message is you hear this truth of this message. The Bible is encouraging us not to harden our heart. When I first heard about this message, oh man, it was a struggle. It was a struggle for me, but I just had to surrender. I didn't want to be like, uh, you know, those of old that hardened their heart. 
I just surrendered. I'm like, God, if this is really, you know, the seventh day, you know, Sabbath is what it really is. I surrender. That is why I, that is when I started going to church on Saturday. That's why I started fellowship on Saturday. I mean, so my point that I want to make here is in verse eight. For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? You see what is happening here? God, the Bible is really clear about this, that if they, Jesus have changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday, he would have said it. And we can read the Bible. You can read the Bible from, from Genesis to Revelation. There's no word that says, you know, that uh, the Sabbath have been changed to Sunday. There remained therefore a rest to the people of God. So my question to you, are you a child of God? Are you considered a people of God? If you really are, you need to really pray about this, about this seven day Sabbath thing. Because it is clear here that if Jesus has, has given them rest, then would he not afterwards spoken of another day? If the day was changed, the Bible would have been clear about that. So, so who made this change though? You know, most Christians just go along with it that, oh, it was changed, you know, because Jesus rose from the dead. But let us look at the papacy. Let us look at the Roman Catholic Church, what they are saying, okay? Um, this is an article for, uh, this is actually a book, part of the book, and it's a question and answer, okay? So I want us to focus on a part of it. And let's just read it. What is the third it? What is the third commandment? Remember the papacy, the Roman Catholic Church, their 10 commandments is different from the Bible 10 commandments, okay? So they, the question was, what is the third commandment? And they replied, the third commandment is remember that, that thou keep holy the Sabbath day. But that is actually the fourth commandment, okay? So their commandment, their 10 commandment is different from the Bible 10 commandment. So the other question they ask, which is the Sabbath day? They say Saturday is the Sabbath day. The question again was posed, why do we observe Sunday instead of Saturday? The answer they, the answer they gave was, we observe Sunday instead of Saturday because the Catholic Church transferred the solemnity from sun, Saturday to Sunday. So everyone that is keeping a Sunday, going to church and fellowship on Sunday, it is nothing, it has nothing to do with Jesus Christ risen from that day. It has to do with the papacy. It has to do with the Roman Catholic Church changing the Sunday, the Saturday to a Sunday. They made that change. So the question was, why did the Catholic Church substitute Sunday for Saturday? And let's see what they say. The church substituted Sunday for Saturday because Christ rose from the dead on Sunday and the Holy Ghost ascended upon the apostles on Sunday. But is this biblical? That's a question you need to ask yourself. They are changing it because they say because Jesus rose from the dead but they don't have any authority. The Roman Catholic Church does not have any authority in the Bible to change it. So they cannot do that. So the, another question that was posed to them was, by what authority did the church substitute Sunday for Saturday? And this is their answer. The church substituted Sunday for Saturday by the plentitude of that divine power which Jesus Christ bestowed upon her. So they are telling us that they have the power. The God has empowered them or God, you know, have given them the power to be cha to change the seventh day Sabbath to a Sunday. My brothers and sisters, you know, we need to really follow the Bible. We need to live our life according to that says the Lord. This is what God says. Not this is what the Roman Catholic Church says. No, this is what my friend said. Not what this is what my husband says. Or no, what this is what my pastor says. Our life should be lit. We should live our life according to the principles of the Bible. And we know that in the Bible, that day was never changed. Don't let any man deceive you, deceive you. So let us read the commandments here. Uh, Exodus 28 to 11. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. 
but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord of thy of thy uh, of the Lord thy God. The seventh day Sabbath, it is God's day. No one can change it. It was it was instituted in uh, uh, during the creation. It was part of the creation story, and no man had no man on earth has authority to change that day. It is in it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy man servant, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gate. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. This is the commandment God has given unto us. Saturday is the day of the Lord. He says, remember it. There's a reason why the, that, that statement is there because God knows that this time, like people will forget. God knows that human beings, we tend to forget things, but he says we should remember it. So are you remembering that? Are you observing the right day? Well, this is something that you guys have to pray about. I'm not here to change anyone's, uh, you know, uh, anyone's religion or anyone's belief or anyone's tradition. But my life, I am living my life according to that says the Lord, because the Lord says this, I, Victoria, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. So what about you? I'm going to end it here for today. I hope you guys were blessed by it, by today's study. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Blessings.